Hey, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to look at prime and composite numbers. Again, another word that I say a little bit differently. I used to say um, composite numbers, but apparently that showed my accent from where I'm from. So if you're used to hearing it as composite numbers, then um, I guess you're from a different part of the world, and I'm used to hearing it as composite. But hey, we'll switch back and forth interchangeably either way. Um, a prime number is a number that is only divisible by itself in one. It must be a whole number that's greater than one. So let's look at a couple examples of prime numbers. Numbers that can only be evenly divisible by themselves and one. So two, for example, it can only be divisible by two and one. Two divided by one is one. One divided or two divided by two is one. Um, two divided by one is two. 3 is another one. 3 divided by 1 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. It has no other factors, basically, um, is another way to think of it. 13, 17. You might think that, wow, if they are only divisible by 1 and itself, then there might be some, you know, there, there may be not as many big numbers. But some really large numbers are still only divisible by themselves and by 1. So here are some examples of prime numbers. Um, not all of them, of course, but there is just a list of some of the prime numbers. A composite number is a number, or a composite number, is a number that has factors other than itself and 1. So an example is 8. 8 has the factors of 1, 2, 4, and 8. Okay? 8 can be divided by any of these four numbers. So again, if it were only divisible by 1 and itself, then it would be prime. But it also has the factors of 2 and 4 that make it into a composite number, a composite number. 36 is an example of a number that has lots of factors. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 36. So 36 is, is a number that's definitely a composite number. It's got tons of factors. Look at all these factors of 36. All right? Many factors other than just 1 and itself. So what we're going to do next is something called prime factorization. That's um, when we take a number that's a composite number and we find all the prime numbers that would multiply together to give us that prime factor. We usually find it using a factor tree, which is not only um, you know, effective, it's also kind of fun. And basically, um, this is a way to break down composite numbers into their prime factors. So here's a, a sample question. Find the prime factorization of 72. So we'd look at the number 72. And we can pick any two factors of 72. We could say 2 times 36, or you know, break it down to basically anything that we want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the factors of 8 and 9. I know 8 times 9 is 72. So I'm going to put 8 over here on the left and 9 over here on the right. 8 and 9 are both still composite numbers. So I, I can actually go one step further with both of them. 8 is 4 times 2, and 9 is 3 times 3. Now this is the first time where I've actually hit a couple of prime numbers. When I hit a prime number, I like to circle them. 3 is a prime number. It can only be divisible by 1 and 3. And 2 is a prime number. It can only be divisible by 2 and itself, or 2 and 1. So I'm going to go ahead and circle those ones. Those are the prime numbers. I can't go any farther with them. 4, however, is not a prime number. It is divisible by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So now I have all of the prime numbers that could multiply together to give me 72. And you can try this out. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 will give you 72. And we can write that out. The prime factorization of 72 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Oftentimes, you'll find that we write it like this, 2 to the power of 3, right? 2, 2, 2. 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 to the power of 3, or 2 times itself 3 times. And we multiply that times 3 to the power of 2, or 3 multiplied times itself twice. All right, so you can write prime factorization in both ways. Um, some people consider one way more correct than the other. Some people really like writing it with exponents, and that's fine. 
um, but basically both answers could be a way of writing the prime factorization. I've seen more final answers written in this format, though. All right, so typically you will write it using the exponent form. All right, so there's the prime factorization of 72. So just a quick recap. A prime number is only divisible by itself in 1. It has to be greater than 1. Okay, so 1 is not considered a prime number, typically. A composite number has more factors than just 1 in itself. And prime factorization, just my definition, is the prime numbers that multiply together to give you a composite number, or a composite number. All right, there's our quick recap. Have a great day.